King of the Hill number 323. There is the number 13 seed, lucky 13, Tyler Trembetta. Today we are bowling on the 46 foot USBC Masters pattern. Pretty tough one today. Right, Iron Man? It was so hard. <laughs> 71 bowlers. Top 31 made match play with 485. 45. Over 70 bowlers and not even five. Yeah, you you know what the top qualifier was? 580 to minus 20. Yep. Didn't even go plus. Tough one today. Oh, yeah. There you go. Tough one today. Tough one. Tough right one there. to start. That's even harder. <laughs> Tough one today. This is week number 10, the final week of the 2023 Summer King of the Hill series. Next week will be the King of Summer Finals. Alright. Tyler's opponent today is the number 7 seed. We've seen a lot of this guy all summer, Ryan McCoy. Making his fourth TV Finals appearance this summer. He won last week. Can we go back to back? He didn't go back to back, but he does have two summer titles this year. Eight total. Fifth all time. Man, you can see how hard this is. This is so hard. <laughs> wait, wait, don't do that one. That was a crap. <laughs> McCoy qualified seventh to his 5.52. He went uh, 152, 199, 201 in qualifying. We're back on the fresh air, so that could be could be trouble. You can see these guys are long grind. Grueling night tonight, shooting spares, not many strikes. Top qualifier was Ty Hawkins with 580. He had 222, 192, 166. He only had 25 bowlers over 500 series. Fun stuff. Barely over 5 bowlers. This match is going to be a spare shooting contest, I'll tell you that. I'm guessing 190, 170. It might be a 160 finals here, we'll see. Both these guys are pretty good spare shooters. Pretty much in the pocket most of the night from what we saw. And Tyler up here in the second. What is Tyler throwing? Looks like a Brunswick? No, he said a Mastermind, I think. Mastermind. I think that's what he said. One of the seven brands of Brunswick. Tyler's won five King of the Hill titles in his career. Looking for number six today. I was watching him. Watching him early on, and uh, he was my pick to pick today. I figured he'd be making the finals. Well, they start getting tough. This is the guy to bet on. Both of them, really. 
Interesting pre-game routine. see him missing any spares here, especially temp pins. Glad I didn't jinx him there. Oh, me too. Hey, it's uh, your favorite time of the match here. Out to the final spot by AboveAllBowling.com for yeah. all your bowling needs. That's right. Visit AboveAllBowling.com for all your bowling equipment needs. Round of 31, Ryan McCoy took out Eric Muncie. Then he beat Bill Knight, Knight Automotive. Get your cars fixed there. <laughs> Round of eight, he took out the GOAT, Gary Clark Sr. And then in the final four, he, he beat uh, another person with seven titles, Justin. so the white meat baby face, Justin Hauser. Justin Hauser making his return back to the area. I saw him up at Limbo too on, on Wednesday morning. Justin's been out uh, working for the USBC out in Reno. Yeah, that's trouble. Those are the kind of mistakes I've seen a lot happen tonight. Usually we see McCoy throwing his purple urethane hammer, but it doesn't look like urethane was in play today, huh? Mm -hmm. Urethane little either urethane hooked too much or didn't look at all, so they didn't move. Looks like he's throwing me storm physics. Mm -hmm. Very good. Kind of doing what you were doing. I was watching you earlier. Kind of slow rolling it up the gutter. That's what all. I think that's what the lefties were doing tonight. Just trying to slow roll it up the gutter. This pattern wasn't very symmetrical. It had uh, maybe a little drier on your side. One is long, a little, yeah, a little bit drier. It was, I think it was a little bit more easier for the lefties. But the kicker is, if you laid it down to it, it didn't, that ball was gone. So, I hope that's the biggest issue. And if you got it too high, then I don't know. I think it was a little easier for righties. easier for lefties. It's going to be a long match. Whatever match was so long. There was no quick matches. So the finals for Tyler, he beat Tony Miller in the round of 31, then he beat Connor Pishka, 
Oh, then he beat you, Iron Man, Cody Haran, in a round of eight. What was the score of your match? Two away to 160. All you had was 160. I all I did was spare. I missed like three spares. I didn't. I had like two strikes. Come on. You do better than that. I know. It's, it happens. And the final four, Tyler took out Zach Haynes. Not a stellar path for him today, especially facing you. Oh, oh. stuff it. Very hard to double today. Getting a double is very rare. The only doubles that I saw is when people went Brooklyn on their second shot. Missing so far you going Brooklyn. I got a double in all five hours. Actually both plus. <laughs> That's all I have. But yeah, the rest were points. Sparing it up. Only working on about a 14 pin lead right now. Coy's got to get something going here. Two spares, two opens. Game pots were uh, pretty low today. Uh, first game pot, we had Zach Goodrich 225, Ty Hawkins 222, game two was Justin Hauser 227, Dave Penfold 224, and third game pot, AJ Willis 210, and second was Adam Bowen. Andrew Bowman, I'm sorry. And Justin Hauser with 205. 205 winning game pots here out of 70 bowlers. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Pay two spots each game. Pays 30 bucks a game. Both spots. Basically pays your entry. Winning game pot. Basically you got a free entry for the day. Down 14. Pre game ritual here every single time. Wipe the ball, get a little rosin. It's not very nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fact. Hey, where can you get that rosin bag at? Bubbleboy.com. There you go. You're learning, kid. I'm learning every day. Sixth frame. Working on the spare. Well, he's got that laid down. He's got three strikes on that lane. He's three for three there. If he can only get this left lane down. He's not struck on the left lane yet. This might be the frame where he does it. Let's see if he makes any adjustment here. This is small adjustment. Can't make big adjustments on this. Do you have a pre-approach routine? I do. It's um I run it all down, put my hand over the fence. I put my foot on the approach and wait for some seconds. Oh, it was really smooth off his hand. I thought he had it. Oh. The thing is, he doesn't fit 
Alright, he doesn't want to finish on that lane. Oh, that's a good news. Perfect Same time. to him. This lane last time. Yeah, let's see if he's dialed in or if it was just a fluke last frame. I think that last time was just a fluke. Maybe. You think so? I thought so. Oh, yeah. this guy's way better than that. Let's see right here. That was pretty good. He was in the pocket. Pretty good. Couldn't get the seven to go. How many seven pins do you leave tonight? Two must play. Three must play. Four. Pick them all up. Yeah. Good. Yeah. They don't miss. They don't miss corners. Good. They don't miss. Some is on my tens. Just the multi pin time. And this washout. What are you washing out for? Huh? What are you washing out for? I got some as Bob. I laid it. I just a little, lofted just a little bit and then get there and left the. Uh oh. All oh, right. Safe. Stay oh. down. Whoa. This camera's oh. drunk. It's kind of close. Camera's weeble wobbing here. Fifteen pins down. Is that one open in the third that's got him? Oh my! Dude, he got hosed on both those shots. That's so scary. Shows you some days you carry on these pins, some days you don't. Depends on the pattern. Didn't get to him, picked up the spare, stayed composed. Just keep chugging along. I'm sure Ryan's just hoping for something bad to happen here. Got three frames to go. on this lane. Let's see if he can go four for four. That's good. Four for four. You know what four for four just reminded me of? Mm -hmm. Wendy's. <laughs> Bacon cheeseburger. Still do that. Still do that. Just some stuff. nuggets. Maybe a double stack. Mmm. Double stack. Wow. Well, if he gets his double stack here in this ninth frame, that's gonna be it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Then he goes back over to the other lane to get the uh, the five dollar biggie bag. So. Uh, big shot right here. 
Oh, we got it out a little different angle. The one strike can use on that. He did. He did. That was the double stack right there that we're talking about. That's got the five dollar biggie bag. Yeah, that's gonna be coming up here next. All right, it ain't over yet. It ain't over yet till the fat lead sinks. What's considered fat? A seven foot thing. You can't stop this guy. Remember last week, he finished with the last four to shut out his opponent. He can't be Tower can't be shut out there. No, he can't. If he strikes out Tower, we need a mark. Or a mark. McCoy can still go 193. Yep, Tower can go at 209. 219. That's right. Too. Gotta have it. All right, showing up now. Well, I hope it's just not too late. Bear's gonna haunt him in the third. I'm so glad the fans are running. Alright, McCoy finishes with 182. I think he just needs a good count. I think he needs 7. Okay, your math is saying 7. Let's see how, the, see how your college education is going right now that he needs 7. Hope it's going for something good. <laughs> Dollar biggie bagger. Oh, he missed. Six. Six count. Six count. Oh, we got problems here, huh? Got to do some quick math, but uh, geez, I can't even do the math right now. My mind is blown. Uh, four. We got three means six. I think he needs three. My math says three to win. I say he's a spare. Ah, uh, my math says three to win. Three means six. He's got 177 right now. Coy's at 182. He needs three. Get him. Got them all. Hey, we're going to see. So Tyler's number six for Tyler? Tyler's six title, yep. Six title, yep. First one this summer. There's that biggie bag. Not the biggie bag, but. Alright, 195, 182. Yeah, I said 190, 170. I was pretty close. You were close. It was headed towards the 160s, but these guys decided to strike at the end. 
description of the guy Lucifer just wins the whole thing, so we miss the Yeah. All right, next week is the King of Summer Finals. 52-foot great flood, 28-foot great drought. Yep. Same time, going up for four, four years, I think. $500 guaranteed first place next week and a chance to bowl me, the king, for an extra $100 bonus. Yeah. No, my hair is not on the line anymore. What is it? It's a $100 bonus. Bill Crane screwed that up about three, four years ago when uh, he had uh, TP cut above the hair tie line. So he had to deal with the wife. <laughs> the queen says no more haircuts because Bill Crane messed it up. All right, we'll see you next week. You got to throw some blame at the head mechanic for that bad rack on 27. Too many single pins. Bunch of excuses around here. Yes. So.